2000 and I thought I'd do an update today on my mom because um, so many of you were interested in, in praying for my mom yesterday. I appreciate it. I will tell you the story and what happened. Um, she was in her room and she was laying in her bed and she drinking her coffee. It's morning and she takes her time and I usually wake her up about 10 o'clock in the morning because she doesn't do well in the morning. She gets very dizzy and she has to get up very slowly or her whole day is a mess. So I just let her be and I give her meds and do her thing and then she usually gets dressed and she'll come out or she'll, she'll clean up her room or she'll do her laundry or something like that. So she was in her room and she got decided she was going to get dressed and then halfway get trying to get dressed she didn't feel good. And my mom's not a complainer. She will not tell you because she's afraid of going to the hospital and with everything last year that happened, she really doesn't want to go back. So um so she didn't say anything to me, but I had the door closed because I knew she was going to get dressed. So I hadn't heard nothing in there, and I thought maybe she fell back to sleep. So I went in there, and she's sitting on her walker, and she says, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And I said, what do you mean you don't feel good? And she says, I, I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to pass out. So I said, do you want to go to the hospital? She said, yes. When my mother says yes to going to the hospital, she really doesn't feel good because she, most of the time, if I ask her that, she'll say no, and I will make her go. So, um, yeah, so I called 911. They came, and they did her vitals and everything, and put her on the gurney, and she was joking with them and talking to them, and I'm just thinking, okay, this is dehydration. You know, she's very bad about water. She doesn't like to drink a lot of water. So, um she uh she went so they took her to the hospital and i waited a few minutes at the house because you know you run down there they're not going to let you see her until they get her stable they're not going to let you see it so you're sitting in the lobby so i might as well be sitting at home and instead of the lobby so i waited a little bit and then i i made sure i ate my lunch and stuff and then i went i would have maybe 20 minutes at the most so I get there and they let me back there and they told me she went, um, what do you call it? Now my brain's, um, she went flatline. I was, what? What do you mean she went flatline? She went flatline. I guess the doctor and the nurse were in there and they were talking to her. And I guess she started to feel like she was going to pass out and her heart started to stop. So they brought in the crash cart and all this and they tried to keep her awake and, and stuff so her heart didn't stop and she got through it and then I guess she started to tell them a little bit more and of course they're checking her out and everything freaking out. Um, doctors don't like when you go flatline. They really don't. And you'll see so many doctors come in and, and it's like unbelievable. Where did they all come from? You know, they're there in the hospital more than you know. So, um, I guess she did it again. And this is before I got there, as I was coming from the house to, to the hospital. So, I guess she did another flat line. And they, they re got her revived and, and stuff. So, um, she didn't completely go all the way, but she was very close. So, enough to scare them. So, they did EKGs and they did x-rays and and what they find that she has tachycardia um, and that means that your heart takes longer for it to beat up and down like it's supposed to it goes a long time and then it starts to beat so it's slow and it could be from they're blaming it on a medication that she's been on forever um, they think that the medication could be causing it but she has to have the medication so they want to put a pacemaker in her so they were supposed to put a pacemaker in her today and uh, it was supposed to happen at three the doctor got too busy he said he won't be able to do her today and that they're going to do her tomorrow so i'm kind of upset about that because you know your mind gets in that set of um 
you know, okay, I got to have this done. I'm going to be, be better. Things are going to be better. And you put this in your head. And then the doctor comes along and says, oh, well, we're not doing it today. You know, so, but like my cousin Al said, he says, I rather them stay and cancel it than to be feel like they have to be rushed and make a mistake. And I said, yes, I understand that. My cousin Al's in Canada, and I text him and stuff. I text most of my family to let them know what's going on um, when something like this is happening. Um, I think everybody should should know. It, it, there, we're supposed to be family, and everybody should know. So, um, yeah. So that's where we are. She's in the ICU still, and the only reason she's in ICU is just because they can keep her on. Um, you know a better watch they she gets one-on-one -on -one nursing there and they keep an eye on her a little bit more car carefully if she was in the cardio ward they get they watch her but the nurses don't come in as much so um they're really watching her closely because they really were scared yesterday and uh so anyways so that's where we are so tomorrow we're supposed to do it it's supposed to be sometime in the afternoon and uh well, we'll let you know, but if they put a pacemaker in her, I, like I said, you know, you might feel a lot better, you know. I take her to, like, Dollar Tree and stuff and let her walk around because it's hot in Florida. It's harder to get her to go walking. I mean, it's too humid. You have trouble breathing. It, it's awful. So, my house is too small to really get any kind of exercise in it. Um, so when we go to Dollar Tree, I let her walk with her walker and she sits down more than she walks, but at least she's trying. And I think a lot of the out of the breathness, I was always blaming it on COPD because that's what they said she had. I'm thinking it's been the heart all along and it wasn't COPD. So, um, yeah, so I'm hoping the pacemaker will help her. Um, I asked him, do you, because the last time she was in ICU, which was a year ago, a little over a year ago, um, you know, she was in ICU and they thought she wasn't going to make it then. And she pulled through and she, she's tough. She's a tough girl. So, um, you know, and I thought they were going to do surgery then and then they weren't going to do surgery and they didn't know what to do. So they decided not to. And here we are back here again, another, a little over a year and a half. So, um, yeah, so maybe they should have done it. Maybe we wouldn't be here today. So I don't know. Who knows, right? So anyways, I just want to let everybody know, and I wanted everybody to say thank you for all the prayers that you guys did on Facebook. And, and keep praying because this isn't over yet. And, um, you know, keep your thoughts and she appreciates everything. She loves to, she likes um, people commenting on, on her, uh, on her. <laughs> she likes to do the Timu thing with me. So she likes to sit there. She likes to do videos with me. So um, Debbie Hawthorne said, oh, I'd like to see more of your mom <laughs> in your videos. So I, I let her do the Timu stuff with me and she likes doing that. So um, yeah, she thinks it's fun gives her something to do too you know and uh, so <laughs> so anyways and I got a Timu here and I'm gonna do it by myself today so after this I'm gonna I'm gonna do that one because one of the things I got in the Timu package is for her and her window so I'm gonna put it up in her window so when she gets home she'll see it and you'll see what I mean when you go and watch my Timu video so, which will be after this one. So, thank you everyone. I really appreciate everything. I know Shea Bear did a shout out. And thank you, Dennis. I, I really appreciate everything. Um, I, I thank you for putting your my name on your video. I, I appreciate that. So, um, I was shocked to hear my name. And um, Shea Bear looked at it and... He heard his, and then I heard mine. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> so that was cool. Thank you very much. So anyways, I hope you like my videos. I have been doing more and more. I am feeling better, but my arm is still giving me a hard time. And what it is is that the surgery that they did on me in January, um, the nerves, there's three nerves that go down your arm, 
and where I'm having trouble, I'm having trouble doing my hair and put my arm up in the air and also I get severe pain in my muscle tone here, which is awful. It's horrible. So what they told me, there's three, three um, nerves that go from your neck down to your arm and of course he had to move everything over when he did my surgery. So um, my nerves got disturbed and sometimes nerves want to be difficult. So of course I have nerves that are difficult and they are just taking their time and healing and so they're ho hoping that um, I'm in therapy. So. They're hoping the therapy is going to work. Um, it has, but then they over-exercised me and I was back in pain again. So, I'm like in between stuff. So, um, I told them I wasn't coming this week due to um, family emergency. So, I will continue my therapy next week. And uh, hopefully my arm keeps getting more and more better. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for now. And, um... Make sure you, you watch my Timu haul on the next video so you see what I got for her. And uh, thanks, everybody. I really appreciate everything. Mike says she's out for now. Bye, y'all.